The market niche of Harvard funds is easy to reach and make profits. Harvard is a well-known college which inspires most people around the world encouraging to harness our curiosity to learn about the world and ourselves. How not to feel inspired by them? This fact justifies the prominent spread of Harvard merch successfully accepted in the market through the past of the years by people of any age around the world. Hi, I am Caroline and today I'm going to show you how to make a classic merch bag with a sweatshirt, a t-shirt and a 3D embroidery cap, all of them customized by Canfi Embroidery Machine. Let's start! This time, I am mixing close customization techniques, embroidery of course and DTF printing all these to get a high quality and comfortable garment. First, we start with embroidery design. The hardest garment to customize is the cap. That's what I'll be focusing on 3D puff embroidery cap during this tutorial. I'll start designing, get prepared, open will come, select image and import a file. The file extension must be JPG or BMP. Size the design for the target cap. There is a difference in designing to 3D embroidery over a flat classic embroidery. That's why we are starting from the center outwards. I recommend you to try zigzag satin stitch. To make the foam removal easier, we are drawing an edge stitch on the bottom straight line. To make the foam removal easier, we are drawing an edge stitch on the bottom straight line. Speaking about embroidery design, some stitches can be shrunk or expanded depending on their direction. Therefore, to avoid a bad finish, it is important to anticipate during the designing process. Check on the drawing in the edge stitch. Work the stitch a little longer outwards to avoid shrinkage in the puffy foam. Welcome students from across the country and all over the world with diverse backgrounds and far-ranging talents and interests. Once the embroidery base is drawn, I am going to work with a run stitch to give the puff foam extra support. For the edges, a diagonal stitch towards the center with A entry. It will allow the foam to be cut only with the needle. Starting again from the center, we will use run stitch and repeat the process. With this run stitch, I'll be ensuring a smooth fluidity work. While embroidering puffy foam or EVA, avoid making many thread cuts. Make sure the embroidery keeps static. Design is not the only challenge here. You must set the embroidery to flow the stitching in a logical order. That will make a huge difference in aesthetics and quality of the final product. Finally, adding an extra run through the center to fix the puffy foam to the cap previously to start the embroidery must keep it static. This run matches with the one I moved at the beginning. Therefore, be aware, the next thing is important. We will order the embroidery runs to ensure the aesthetics of the design flow. It is very important to adjust the embroidery properties. In edit, we will click on select by, then stitch type and select satin. We are not changing the embroidery runs. There, right click on the stitch and in settings we remove the auto split because we don't need it in this type of embroidery. We also remove the selection of the auto spacing and in spacing we are going to change to 0.20mm so that the contracted stitch cuts the foam. Then add a pull compensation of 0.30mm to avoid the stitches shrinkage mentioned above. Now, fix the edges, return to edit, select by, stitch type, and select satin, click on Ctrl plus A, return to object properties, select connectors, and disable the thread cuts before and after the object, also disable the trim after, and that's it. Let's move to the embroidery machine. The first thing to do is cut in the puffy foam to the right sides. I recommend you to set two foam layers, this is a 100% EVA foam, this is a center seam cap, we're adding one layer of stabilizer on the inner side of the cap. It's time to hook the cap. Make sure the cap frame is engaged into the jig. With the cap and the stabilizer placed together, take the band that holds the crown to the peak and move it out of the way. We'll align the center of the hat frame with the center of the cap always avoiding framing the sweatband. Then take the locking band, put it on the hat and lock it. Let's move to the embroidery machine. Make sure the jig is turned to the right side before placing the hooked hat. Once the hat frame is engaged into the machine, we have to trace the area before confirming the embroidery. Select the frame on the screen. Do some previous tests before starting the embroidery. Once aligned, we select the color of the thread and in the stitch speed, we are going to reduce it to 700, so that the stitch is longer. Place the two layers of puffy foam between the hat and the needle and carefully hold for a bit. Click on the start embroidery until the run stitch starts. Then let the machine embroider. 
At the end, take out the frame, remove the cap and the puffy foam left over. Also, tear off the stabilizer from the back. We do some finishing touches with a lighter and that's it. We have a final commercial merch product, a Harvard University 3D embroidery cap. Plus, we made a hoodie and a shirt embroidered with the original logos and typography using the 12 hoop. Then, to get a lighter garment, I tried a new technique named BTF printing. It's a practical idea. It is possible to mix with embroidery technique in the same garment, but in this project, I made it separately. We appreciate your precious time. If you want to know anything, please write to us. I will be pleased to give you more technical information. Thank you for watching this embroidery tutorial. If you have any question, please leave them on the comment section below. And also, you can send us a DM. Follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.